Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. We're glad to have Mar- Martha Parker on the show. And she's an ergonom- ergonomist. Thank you very much. Uh, M E R G is the uh, is the name of the company. And tell us about the name. So, Kevin, it's it's Emerge. Merge. So, kind of kind of like you're growing. Uh, uh, my my accountant who helped me start the firm. Um, came up with the name, and it stands for Martha and Ergonomics, oh, M-E-R-G. And that's M-E-R-G.com to find you online. That's correct. Yeah, it's a great yeah. website, too. Thank you. Uh, kind of can, tell us the story, the history of it. So I began Emerge in 2003 um, after moving to Houston about a year previous to that. And um, I had worked for a furniture manufacturer, done consulting for them, and realized that I was I really liked that part of that job. Um, so I opened my own firm and started doing office ergonomic evaluations and light and industrial ergonomic evaluations and have been doing so ever since. We've grown from me and my cat, Samantha, who was the VP of corporate wardrobe, mm. to 12, 12 actual real-life people Yeah, um, who all wear our white shirts with our with our logo on it. Very cool. Congratulations. Um, are you working mainly in the, in the region, or are you national? Or talk a, l- a little bit about who your cl- or where your clients are. Our clients are mainly in Houston. Mm-hmm. Um, we do have some internationally located clients, so we travel on behalf of them to their international locations. So we've gone to, of course, being in Houston will be oil and gas related. So we've gone to all the hot spots like West Africa or Indonesia, Russia, um, the Middle East. We've done a lot of of office ergonomic evaluations throughout mm-hmm. the world, and I never I never thought that would happen. I never thought I'd be traveling to, you know, Angola helping people use their chairs. That's cool. You got to love that. Talk a little bit about the uh, and, and I guess you work entirely for businesses. I mean, obviously, people who are individuals who want this, they'll get it from a book or or from a documentary or whatever. Typically, they wouldn't hire someone like you to figure this type of thing out. But you're trying to reach and help lots of people in an organization. We do that. Our main our target customer is anywhere from 500 to 2,000 employees. That's a that's where we do our best work. Um, we've worked with companies that are much larger. But we've also, Kevin, done some individual evaluations for people at their home and in their home office. So we've done small law firms that have five to ten employees, but we've also gone to people's houses and helped them, you know, rearrange their bathroom. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. And uh, talk a little bit about, um, is there particular industries? Obviously, ones like energy seems like a logical one. Sure. And it is just, it's energy strictly because we're based here in Houston. But office ergonomics is applicable to anybody who works in an office. So it could be banking and finance. It could be real estate. It could be anybody who sits really behind a desk and works on a computer. Yeah. Talk a little bit. uh, Have you guys been uh, hit by the energy situation here? Yes and no. Um, I think our our current client list is is kind of leveling off. Um, We're not seeing a decrease um, the good thing about what we do is that it, it helps with employee morale, and our, our job is to make people wildly successful. Mm-hmm. So if we can make employees and individuals better and more efficient at what they do, even in times of, of economic downturn like we're experiencing right now because of oil prices, um, we, we are getting the most out. We're helping companies get the most out of their employees. Yeah, and, and the things we do with our bodies, you know, while uh, sitting at a desk, those kind of things really either foster stress or – fight stress and that type of thing. Frankly, if you're in a company that's forcing your, you know, are forced to downsize, it seems like a company like yours would make more sense now than ever. That's right. It's exactly right. Because it's helping get, like I said, the most out of the people that you have left um, and help them be efficient, effective, and satisfied at their job. Can you help, you know, are, are you interested in helping businesses outside of Texas? Oh, absolutely. So are, um, are, are you making overtures in that direction? We or? are. We are. Our client list right now requires that we we expand outside of Texas, and we're totally okay with that. Um, but And we will in the future. We've got some specialists who want to move away from Texas. And it seems like Silicon up. Valley would be like a huge, huge There's, uh you know, gold mine for a company like yours. Yeah, there is there is a, a very um, well established ergonomics network in a in major cities. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Towns like that, you know, when they're paying employees so much and and that's so competitive anyway, it's just, I guess you could say the soft areas, the intangibles like what you do that are so important to their physical health that can make such a big difference. You know, wow, that, this company really does care for me. I, you know, to me, it seems like a great way uh, to demonstrate that. That's right, and it's. 
it's it's real soft sometimes, and it's hard for companies to put a number on it because they like to say, well, you know, we spent this much on your services and we got this much in return. And sometimes that's difficult because of the nature of the work that people do. Um, if you work in with a call center or you work on an insurance claim floor, um, it's it's easy to see sometimes the the implications of making a change at your workstation or changing your habit because you can answer five more phone calls an hour or you can process mm-hmm. two more claims. But in, in what we do most of the time in the office, it's intellectual work and it's hard to measure. It's difficult to measure. So I was able to get through, you know, five more emails or I was able to interpret 15 more lines of seismic this this hour. And those things are sometimes difficult or to I measure. I was significantly more friendly to your clients That's the right. entire time, uh, you know, I had to engage with them on the phone. That's right. You know, and that's the kind of stuff that really does pay off. Mm-hmm. You that's know? exactly right. It, it seemed like a great way would be uh, like if you had your customer service people in those environments to, to see uh, what kind of response and surveys that you're getting after six months of a program like yours. That's but right. if, to me, it seems like it's a program that requires six months to a year to really quantify the value, to track it does. And yeah. and so much of that is at the beginning, you're, you're teaching people why we're even there in the first place. Um, and a lo- most people know that they need an ergonomist. They just don't know it till we're there. And then they say, where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I think ergonomists are very useful. And Thank I'm you. glad that you were able to tell your story. Martha Parker and her company's called Merge. And you find it online at m erg com. Good to see you. Thanks for having me, Kevin. You bet. When we come back, we're going to have much more for you. I do want to remind you, this content here shows up over there at usdatareview.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter, and this is The Price of Business.